It's a bit of a hike to the top of UC Berkeley's Botanical Garden, but Director Paul Licht says if you look closely, you will see plants from areas all over the world. And then there's this. You're looking at something you'll probably never see again in your lifetime. This Puya Raimondii, also known as the Queen of the Andes, was planted from a seed brought back by a research expedition to Bolivia. It has been sitting here quietly for 24 years. And one on day, it suddenly did something that looked different. The Puya began to bloom. That may not seem like a big deal until you realize that in its native environment, the plant usually takes 80 to 100 years to do that. That makes this the world's youngest blossoming Andean queen, ever. I've been here 11 years and I've checked it every year, dreaming it might bloom and so I could see one in my lifetime. It's only taken a month for the bloom to get this big, but a month from now it could be 30 feet tall and covered with more than 30,000 flowers. The plant normally grows above a 12,000 foot elevation, so why is it thriving in Berkeley? They're adapted for cold, dry conditions with bad soil. That doesn't mean that's what they'd rather be doing. <laughs> they just don't have any choice. The Bond family, visiting from Vermont, got to see this once-in-a-lifetime event. At first, they weren't that impressed. But as soon as you hear him starting to describe the life cycle and the process, you know, this becomes a fascination. We'll be talking about this forever. But nature is rarely sentimental, and as soon as the queen finishes creating her seeds, the plant will die. So if you want to see it, better hurry. This may not happen again for a long time. In Berkeley, John Ramos, KPIX 5.